Hello. Yeah. I know. This is weird. I don't like this. What am I doing? It's Metal Gear Solid. The last time I played this game on a recording was in 1984. Well, it feels like that. <laughs> Months ago. Yeah, I'm even on a new channel from when, from the channel I originally recorded this for. Well, thing is, guys, it's taken an absolute ball ache for me to get this file sorted out, and an absolute ball ache um, for you to even be watching this video. Um, at a guess, this video is probably going out sometime in 2015, simply because I know Konami will um, say things about how, You're not allowed to own this game. We don't like it. Give it us back now. We want all two pence you've made from that video. Do you understand? We, the multi-millionaire company, we want the 2p that you've made. 2p. That's like walking up to a tramp, right? And who goes, have you got any change? You give him a fiver and you ask for £4.99 change. You don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. We're back in Metal Gear Solid. I'm by myself. I know I know the previous episode I was with I Craigers. Um it's just not possible for me to get two I Craigers and us to get together to record, so I'm doing this one by myself. Um he might be back. I don't know. I doubt it. But we will get back together and work on some stuff later. But right now we need to this need what needs to be said is we need to get on with the game because I've been talking for over a minute and this ain't good. So, yeah, stop the launch of the new... <coughs> yeah! To stop the launch of the new type nuclear warhead, Snake. Must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base up, up north. Or destroy Metal Gear itself. I like that idea. Snake fights Liquid's Hind D on the roof of Communications Tower B and defeats it and gets to the snowfield north of the Communications Tower. However, Sniper Wolf is waiting for him. After beating her again. After beating her again, Typo? Who the fuck is Sanic? How did that get in the final game? S? How did that get in the final game? That's a terrible Typo. Metal Gear Solid, I love you, but Jesus Christ! Snake and Otacon stay with her until her moment of death. Snake successfully goes through the entrance to the underground maintenance base north of the snowfield and heads for the lower level to get to the Metal Gear ba underground maintenance base. Hello, Paul. Now this is where we continue. It's where we pick up from the last episode. This is Metal Gear Solid. My name is Tom, this is the Tom Williams Productions channel, and this, my friends, is Metal Gear Solid. And I just made the first mistake of the episode, forgetting that there's no analogue control in this game. Let me just put the analogue controls on. Because I didn't think there was. Yeah, I do prefer the analogue sticks. Oh, fuck no. I don't want to get caught by that. And there is first person in this game. That's good. Fucking go away. He's next to me. He's below you. I can see him. No, he's definitely here. What the fuck are you playing? There, hey, mate. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. I thought you could crouch there! Yeah. You can't. Barbecue! Tagging my little brother for a bit! Hi! <laughs> That's why I have people with me during Metal Gear Solid, because quite frankly, guys, the early game, the controls are diabolical. Quite frankly, the early game controls are absolute bollocks. So, um, yeah. So how the hell do you do that then? I thought you could crouch. Because if you walk into that, you'll die. Oh, you can't move and crouch. 
Or you could just die. I'm a bit sloppy. So, I haven't played this yeah. in a long time. So yeah, um, somebody um, uh, in a slight reference to a future Metal Gear Solid game, um, Steg just got cooked and could be eaten. Or oh, frankly, if he did die there, that could have been quite some phantom pain. Um, that joke might be even more relevant than I think it is. That that joke could well be a lot more relevant than I think it is because there's a fair chance by the time this video is going out, that game's probably out. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm having to record this like three months ahead of when I want to upload it. So, um... oh, f this is the it's the game controls, aren't they? They are so shit. No, it's just oh, terrible. The, the the controls are just tripe, man. Christ Almighty! Oh, I now I know, I know, I know, I know. You can you're shouting with your penis in your hand. Jesus Christ! Eh. A bad workman blames his tools. A bad gamer get blames but blames the game's control system. Seriously, this game controls like dog shit. I love the game. I love the story. And Hideo Kojima's a fucking genius. But this game controls like shit. Yeah, what difficulty are you playing this on? Easy. It should be easy. I don't think you've gone far enough across, have you? At least if you fall there, you'll just die of falling onto your brain. Oh, the fire's... I need to be about there. Yeah, so you need to go a bit further. Just stay there. Won't it pass over you now? Oh. Yeah. Seriously though, guys, I love this game. I really, really do. Like, yeah, it uh, it is a real labour of love. But seriously, I wish I'd played this on the GameCube version. <laughs> they fix the controls. <laughs> Fucking kill him. <laughs> but yeah, I will be doing Metal Gear Solid 2 and probably Metal Gear Solid 3 somewhere down the line. But yeah, we're just rocking this one out. We're going to finish this one in a weekend, just because once the game's finished and I've got I've got the videos uploaded onto the channel, uh, I can actually um, seriously consider um, waiting. I can then wait wait out, and once they're all ready, they can all go up, you know. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how often I'm putting this out on a weekly basis. I don't even know what day I'm putting this out on a weekly basis. I don't actually even know if this is going up at all because Konami might just say, "Yeah, we want it. We don't want you to have that that video up." Um, and I'm, um, you know, so we'll see what what the score is. But at the, um, as I am recording this and speaking into my microphone right now, the situation is that Konami have blocked 12 episodes of this series. And I'm waiting for, and I, I have argued defense based on uh, copyright, uh, based on uh, fair use copyright, because I am talking over the video sequences. Um, I've argued fair use copyright, and Konami are currently disputing that. But we will have to see what the situation is, but obviously I am only a small YouTube channel, and so Konami do have um, the serious financial and powerhouse benefits over me um, hopefully guys though you get this this series gets to go out because I do really love the Metal Gear series it's um, it, it is a seriously good franchise and um, you know it's one of it's one of the games that I played as a child and didn't really understand I'm playing it again now as a grown-up as, as a grown adult at the age of 24 although by the time this episode is going out I might be 26 um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, and I do, I do like this game. And seriously, you're gonna die, aren't you? Can't you block their bullets or something? How much health are these these clowns got? These guards have got the best armor plating known to man. A tank couldn't take that much machine gun fire. It took five <laughs> rations. Wow. Um, Must only one elevator. 
Wow, this is kind of weird because I'm used to recording stuff in 1080p. This video is only a gigabyte and it's 10 minutes long. That's unusual to me. <laughs> but yeah, it is in 576p. 576 penises. Um, but yeah, this this is one of the longest bits. This is one of the longest bits of the game, honestly. Um, because you've got to go up and down, up and down these elevators. I'll probably be a smart ass and skip some of the elevator shifts by um, just not doing them. <laughs> um, by like you know doing them between episodes and stuff. But you know what's coming up now? Probably a ridiculously long cut codec call and a battle with the largest, the man with the largest arms, the largest arms, the largest arms in professional wrestling, um, in professional uh, killing. <laughs> Yeah, we are coming up against the Hollywood Maester, Hollywood Vulcan Raven. <laughs> and seriously, and you'll see, because he does use brother a lot, he is clearly Hulk Hogan. So, yeah, we are coming up against the fight with Hulk Hogan, but we've got Kodak call first. Snake. Yes. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. Yeah, is she, is she Phil Hunter? Is this conversation secure? No, it's on YouTube. Monitor's off. Okay, <laughs> what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. No, you weren't. I didn't know that. I can What's see the point? edge of your mask. Dr. Hunter's story. About oh, come on! It's one of the biggest spoilers in the video game. In the in the video game in history. Watch this, Everybody it. watching this knows this already. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah. What about it? Right. It was all a big lie. Was it? What did really? you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? Yeah, I can't imagine why somebody would lie about their identity, Master McDonnell Miller. I'm not entirely sure why somebody would lie. Yeah, what kind of person would lie about their identity? Hmm. Well, back then there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. So her story doesn't make sense. Why have you Why have you got a weird line on your neck that isn't that clearly isn't your T-shirt, and I can see two different colours of, of skin on your neck? Seriously, look. You see the line on the bottom of his neck. Can't you see where there's skin where his shirt should be? She's working with the terrorists. It's an awful mask. If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Why? Dude, seriously, she's a hundred thousand miles away. She can't touch me. Naomi Hunter, that is. She's a hundred thousand miles away. There is nothing that can happen at all. <laughs> Ow. Um, so yeah, it's come. It's time. It's time. It's time, everybody. Let's fight Hollywood Vulcan Raven. Let's go. Let's go fight Hollywood Vulcan Raven. Let's go fight Hollywood Vulcan Raven. We've got one ration, so we are royally boned. We got some C4 and that. Yeah, we got some missiles as well. Let's go and do it. That's also quite annoying, how you can, uh, you, how you have to equip the card to open the door and then, there's a lot of things wrong with this game that, you know. It was 19. It was in the 90s, I know, yeah, and, it, and it's a very, very good game. I, I, I'm, like I said, I, I don't mean to come across as, well, this game shit, isn't it? <laughs> Ugh, it's not as good as I mean, modern I mean, day games. Avengers, in, the, in the Avengers, they make jokes about right, this stuff. You're just going to have to carry one of those awful key cards around with you. Open yeah, the door. even <laughs> even I'm only a level two employee. I can't go into that level three door. Uh, even Kojima gets the jokes now, you know. Which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. Do they? You were the one in the M1 tank. Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. Snake, stop talking about his penis. There are women and children present. I'm the biggest of men, grabs crotch. The ravens say you are a true warrior. Yeah, because Why ravens speak to him. Oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I represent the psychiatric treatment unit. We're going to put him down carefully and then we're going to send him away. Okay? Yeah, we're just going to jab this syringe up his ass. He'll be alright. He's used to taking steroids, so he's used to having needles in his bum. Yeah, so um, Raven's a dick. Well, no, he's not. Raven's an awesome character. The thing is, he talks too much. Like me, I talk too much. You live in Alaska too. No. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Why does yeah, this help? I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. Is it shooting? It is called the ear pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. <laughs> it tests spiritual Wait. as well as physical strength. Wait! Wait a minute! Pull each ears. Wait! Just oh, one the minute! Is there is a tournament of who can pull each other's ears the hardest. Holy shit! Violence isn't a sport! Well, we'll see if there is irony in your words. Holy shit. Raven is famous for having a very, very predictable move, move arsenal and a very, very predictable move set. But like I said, like this is one of the most legendary fights in video gaming. You know, everybody who is sort of anyone really has played this game. Do it with Nikita's, don't you? Because the man couldn't couldn't hear a sting of himself coming towards him. And then he just continues on his way. The guy's an idiot. I suppose all video, you know, this is just this is just a video gaming trope now. What's that? Somebody hit me from behind. I'm gonna keep going the same direction. That's that's just like a video game trope now. Metal Gear Solid guards are famous for it. Sit round, sit round it. Well, he's, he's lost half of his health. He's been hit in the back three times with Stinger Missile. He's been hit in the face with Stinger Missiles a couple of times. Now he's starting to get wise to it. I mean, I know you're doing this with Stinger Missiles, but the game really does want you to do it with Nikita, because it keeps giving you ammo for the Nikita. That's another thing that this game does, seriously. Like, it encourages you to use the, uh, it encourages you, you to use what it wants you to use. But yeah, seriously, great game, and you know, I really would recommend all of you to play this. Because it's also harder because, like, we used to play in sort of the modern game style, aren't we? And yet, this is like really old, really, really old school. We could do some C4 ones because his uh, movements are relatively predictable, actually. I mean, Stinger Missiles are, are an awesome way to take him down. They're probably the best way to take him down. But as you did say, as you did say, yes, it is, uh, it is quite, um, it does increase the difficulty somewhat when he starts to uh, restrict your movement options. For a guy so fat, so big, he doesn't half move quick. Wow! 
Wow. Right in the face, man. He just he only walks around the outside. Yeah, 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 it does, it does make him relatively predictable. He's not even taking all that much damage from them anymore, is he? Why don't you drop some stingers down this, down this path and then when he does the circle, some um, uh, bombs around down this path. Actually, yeah, he's, he's going in a, he's going um, anti-clockwise around the thing, so just drop some C4 bombs in the middle of the, in the middle of the path and just wait. Shit, he's coming in the middle. He's changed. He's changed his pattern. He's just changed his pattern, hasn't he? Wow, 21 minutes and it's only 2.2 gig, man. This is a really small file compared to my usual stuff. But yeah, this, these episodes will be half an hour, I reckon. But I'll I'll probably end the episode after this fight with Vulcan, to be honest. And then we'll, um, as soon as we get a chance to stop and save, I'll, um, I'll end the episode. Because I'll bet there's going to be some post-fight, um, verbiage. I'd say go and cut him off, but that's never a good idea. <laughs> hey, Raven, remember me? Yes, I want to kill you now. He is actually getting relatively hard to predict, I think. Well, yeah, he is just running away from you. It's almost like he can sort of, he sort of wisened up to your tactics. So now he, he sort of knows that you've wisened to him. And so, no, you know, you know what it is? It's because of the way he's blocked it off. He, he is still going around the outside, but he has to go, he has to go up the middle occasionally because he's, he's blocked off the outside. You'll get in there. Oh, nearly. We'll get him. We'll get him. I need two more decent shots in the back right now. Yeah, yeah. You can finish him with the cases if you need to. Wait for him, wait for him. Be careful your health. Come on, we nearly got him. You're gonna need more than two shots. You have to do. You're gonna have to do one of the other weapons. What's also weird is considering he's, he's, you know, he's only got a little head on that massive body, he's got a huge line of sight, hasn't he? That cone. His cone is huge. The cones in the basement depends on how big it is. That doesn't seem that. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's his hit range then rather than his cone of sight because, you know, nobody can see that widely. Unless nobody can see that widely, unless their eyes are, two, are like two feet apart. <laughs> you know, like one eye on your left ear and the other eye on your right ear. You know, facing towards the front. Got him! Bumble. Let's have a death scene. Let's have a death scene, boys and, and girls. Take my, and I will take my mercenary payout. 
So we're 25 minutes in and we're going to wrap up after this cutscene, I think. But yeah, this is an awesome game, guys. And seriously, uh, if you haven't played this game, one, where the fuck have you been? And two, where the fuck have you been? And three, where the fuck have you been? Play this game now. Nah. Well, wait till the video's over, then play the game. You know? Buy the game. You know, give Kojima your money. And then and tell tell them tell them Tom from Tom Williams Production sent you, and they can release the claims on my videos. Seriously, Kajami, Kojima, Konami, Kojima, Konami. Same, yeah. same difference really. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. That's true. You and the boss. You are from another world. Yep, they're from the real world. Snake's from Boston, Massachusetts. Go and do battle with him. And Liquid is from London, England. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes did not die. What is it? So now we're talking about the Darpa chief. It was decoy octopus, a member of Foxhound. Does anybody actually does anybody actually know what decoy octopus really looks like? Has he ever been seen? Because you say master of disguise. If decoy octopus is white, how the hell did he pull that one off? <laughs> he couldn't defeat. De he couldn't deceive the angel of death. There isn't an angel of but death. Why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? Snake, <laughs> stop asking questions. He's bleeding to death. Help him. My brother has just looked up decoy octopus, and he is white. No How is he? Ma How did he manage that? There's, there's the mask. Wait, the ravens are eating him! The path you walk on Don't eat Hulk Hogan! Stop eating Hulk Hogan! The ravens are eating him! Sna while Snake casually walks away, the ravens are eating him! Why is nobody paying attention to the fact that the ravens are eating him? Or rather, the ravens have successfully eaten his entire body skeleton and all. Um. Yeah, because that's possible. Kodak! Woo! More. Snake, it's me. It's not. Master. It's about Naomi. Oh, great. Take the monitor off. Okay. Is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. A so short nap? About Naomi? Really? Okay. Maybe we better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah, yeah. Naomi is unconscious oh, because I've just had my I've uh, just pulled my penis out of her ass. Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy. So, so I, checked I checked it out. out. And? And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Huh. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. Why did this guy go to so much so really much detail to look up she Naomi must Hunter? Be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage yeah, the operation. Yeah, from you. I mean, um, yeah. yeah. She's maybe she's a spy. Her, Working, she working for McDonald Miller, yeah. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or no, no, she no, could be working with part. some different group I'll, altogether. I'll different group? It yeah. couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. 
She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. She's I don't believe that. Spies, then we're in no, big trouble. What do you mean? I love the fact that while they're having this discussion, Snake's just there like, yeah, I'm some still here. Final secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? The arms tech. I have no idea. Because I, I, the leader of this operation, have no clearance. Fuck, Colonel! What the fuck are you doing there? This mission. I knew it. You were hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get. Snake. I'm going. Snake. I'm Snake. I'm going to have to um ask the higher ups because I don't have clearance to give you any information that is completely vital to this mission. Okay. Then, Colonel. What the fuck are you doing here? Well, guys, with that um, situation, while we ask what the fuck Colonel Campbell is doing there, we end this episode of Metal Gear Solid. This is episode 13, and I'll see you next time for more of one of the greatest games in the history of watching a movie whilst holding a controller in one of your hands. Goodbye, everybody.